I prefer the shorter bags over these stretch bags right here. We went ahead and we got the Avon Black short bags. <laughs> it's amazing how many people go like, oh, pinch rate my ad. I'm like, are you slow? Well, you shout out to Avon Black. So these are the bags that were on my 2021 Rogue Glass Special behind me. And um, if you're a lot like me, you probably prefer shorter bags on a bike. So we fixed that issue. We went ahead and we got the Avon Black short bags. So huge shout out to Avon Black. These bags are gonna fit and look as premium as the Harley Davidson short bags for a way cheaper price. So if you guys do wanna change the look on your bike, like I'm trying to do right now, and you're not trying to come out of pocket so much. Um, yeah, hit up having black. They pretty much have any color matched part that you're gonna want for your Harley Davidson when it comes to the bags, fenders, fairing, inner fairing, just a ton of stuff on there. So check the website. I'm gonna be linking the website down below so you guys can check that out. Best thing, like I said, it is color matched. They will color match the part to your bike. As far as the install, it was pretty easy. I kept my stock lids and I went ahead and just did some customization to the Evan Black short bags right here. So the video is gonna flow into the art of the bag right now. So you're gonna see a local artist who did the pinstriping and aluminum leafing on the bags. It's not 100% done yet. We're gonna go back and we're gonna add some more black accents on both sides of the numbers. Just because if you look at the bike from the front to the back, it's black and red, black and red, and it's just a lot of red in the back. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some other stuff in the back to kind of offset that as well. So that's gonna be its own video as well. So that's that's coming in. Now, my main reason from going from the stretch bags to the short bags is because A, the looks to me just looks a lot better. And two, because I'm doing a two to one exhaust instead of the dual exhaust system that I have right now from Chromeworks. But sit back and enjoy the rest of the video. You're gonna see the artist just do all the artwork on the bike right here. I'm gonna be linking up his description down below as well. So if you guys are in the local area, New Jersey, New York, or if you guys are somewhere in the country, hit him up. He does amazing work. And once again, huge shout out to Avin Black. kind of like the old school way of doing it, even down to making the merch. This is the glue. Okay. They call it gold size. So we're here in the shop waiting while the uh, gold size dries up. Yes, sir. That's what we're doing. <laughs> All right. So we're here at the shop. We're here with my main man, Anthony. We're getting some work done on the Avid Black bags that I received. Um, some consummation work. I'm super, super excited for it. He's a local guy, actually. His shop is only literally four minutes away from my house. When I looked it up, I'm like, oh, snap, you're like, you're right there. Um, but I'll let him introduce himself, let him tell you a little bit more of what he does here on a day-to-day -day basis. So for you guys who are local or around the states or even for you guys throughout the country, just if you are interested in doing some work with him, hit him up. I'm going to be linking all his description down in the box below. And if you have uh, further questions, be uh, just feel free to hit him up on his Instagram. Um, but yeah, just introduce yourself, let him know what you do, how you started, um, even your whole story before, before you're telling me how you started from working on cars, the bikes, and this and that. It's like, it's, it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. My name is Anthony D. Anthony DiLoberto at DiLoberto Graphics. Okay. My ad. Yeah, ad, <laughs> ad. Uh, my Instagram is uh, pinstripe by AD. Um, you can check me out on there. Um, I'm a custom painter, pinstriper, sign painter, located in northern New Jersey. I'm 25 years old, and I got my shop here. Um, I'll have it two years, probably by the time this video comes out, 
on September 1st. Uh, I'll be celebrating my two years here. Sweet. Um, kind of just started out going to car shows, seeing Pinstripe and thought it was cool. I said, hey, I could probably do that. Um, that was when I was probably about 12 years old. And uh, I've been at it literally every day ever since. Um, so I, I can say I have, at 25, I got you know, 10, 12 years in the business. And uh, I've been doing it professionally for almost 10 of those years. And uh, I've had a brick and mortar here for uh, two years. Um, went to college uh, for automotive restoration, restored cars, everything from American classic cars to Porsches to steam cars and then I kind of just realized that this was the true calling and I needed to pursue this, dedicate my time, you know, full time to it and this is where we landed and it's been a pretty fun ride. I do all sorts of custom paint, helmets, gas tanks. Uh, I do commercial truck lettering, so just contractors, vehicles, and things of that nature, heavy equipment, tractor trailers, um, a lot of hot rods, uh, a lot of bikes, a lot of performance Harley stuff. Um, today we're working on doing the bags here, so some silver leaf uh, graphics with some candy fades, and just gonna make them pop, but kind of make them go with the bike. Um, they should be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to show you a little bit of the process on that, but uh, you know, stay tuned and you know, you'll see how it comes out. You guys can be the judge. Right on. This is actually automotive base clear coat too. Like this is the same shit they spray out of my mouth. Nice. 2K. There you have it, that's how you do it. We uh, did a little beveled outline, an inline, an extra outline. So I mentioned turn silver leaf, a couple coats of 2K clear, brushed on, and uh, well, next time you see these, will be on the bike. Pretty sweet. If you have any questions or comments, you know, reach out. Happy to do this on your bike, helmet, boat, car, truck. Pretty much anything, they'll stand still long enough. <laughs> Thanks for watching.